In this video, we'll look at whether magnesium bromide, that's MgBr2, is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water. To do that, we need to look at the neutralization reaction that produced the magnesium bromide. So we have hydrobromic acid plus magnesium hydroxide. That's our neutralization reaction that gives the salt, and then we get water. Once we know the reaction, we need to know the strength of the acid and the base that make the magnesium bromide. This table is really useful. It's a good one to memorize. It lists the common strong acids and bases. So I'm looking for HBr right here, hydrobromic acid. That's a strong acid, right, Sa there. Magnesium hydroxide, we're looking down our list of strong bases, and it's not there. It's not on our list. This is a weak base. So now we know the strength of the acid in the base. We can use these rules to figure out whether MgBr2 is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water. So we look at our rules. We're looking for a strong acid and a weak base. Here's a weak base and a strong acid. So if we have a weak base and a strong acid come together, we expect, based on these rules, the pH will be less than 7. That means it's going to be an acetic solution. So in answer to our question, MgBr2 in water forms an acetic solution. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.